So of course, Ash Greninja is no longer available in regular Pokemon as a result of, you know, moving to Gen 9. But Battle Bond is still available and today. I've come with a very powerful team, a very sinister, nefarious squadron of goons <laughs> ready to do my bidding. So we're going to roll up with this team today that I've built. It's going to be a lot of fun. Protect three attacks sounded kind of cool. And you see they got the low kicks. That is the point of the team. That's the point. Oh, my opponent chokes turn one. Let's freaking go. Let me get my spike. Beautiful. And I said, <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, they choked, guys. <laughs> no, they just, they, they made the play they were always going to make. <laughs> but yeah, they had me down. Now, this is the annoying part. I don't know if they're going to rock or if they're going to Q here. I think we just body press, though. They do just Q. So we get our little spiky spike. Makes a lot of sense for them to want that damage on me because they've got the meta meta and the, the Pommy Wami. Palmot could literally be a revival blessing as well. Bring back their homie. And then I could lose. But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, they're a thousand and ten percent ice beaming the shit out of me here. <laughs> just I, I just know, man. I'm just a little bit I'm, I'm just a little bit more familiar with my damage calcs, man. I had a feeling I'd live that. <laughs> also, guy named him Suzette, and it's a male. I don't know what's going on there, but... <laughs> Actually, wait, that doesn't matter. Dude, I was thinking Susan. You know, normal normal woman name. And I'm like, oh, Suzette. Come on, you're... Susan's the male name. <laughs> I'm so freaking stupid. Anyhow, all this waffling to say, you better join the content as of late. Subscribe! We're having a great time over here. And of course, end of the year goal is that big, juicy 10k. Trying to hit that. So, of course, you want to subscribe and help us with our movement there. That would be much appreciated. I'm going to just matcha this. Are they Terra... No, this is going to be Terra Water. Yo, I almost Shadow Balled, but they went Metagross anyway. So this is like... Cool. Now I just calm mind up. I enter a Zen state. A state of being, frankly, I don't think you're familiar with. So I call mine out. Let's see what they do. Heavy slam. That still does 5 million. Unfortunately for my opponent, I'm that's definitely speed tie, right? <laughs> Let me go for sap here. I'm not a fan of this burned Metagross still doing so much. <laughs> my opponent goes to Grin. I'm going to just Macha Gacha because there's nothing that this can do to me. I lied. I took 5 million for Dark Pulse, but I got them with the Machum, so that's pretty good. They go Palm on it, Mayterra. Um, only issue is this could Revival Blessing Grin back. It could also Ice Punch me. You know, there's a, there's a lot to take in there as they go Low Kicks. This Mon's annoying because I don't know if they are, um... Hmm. I, I've got Dogie around. I'm gonna Terra. Do I die? I really die to that, dude? What in the hell? Yo! <laughs> Yo, this ball's broken as hell! What the frick's that? That's so sad. Um, Torn is free. Torn is Omega free here. I'm just gonna go into it in Bleak Wind. This is so sad. <laughs> Yo! My Sinistra, no! I could actually just stay in a knock. Um, I live Sucker Punch now, so I'm just gonna U-turn. Right? Like, I, I I live Sucker Punch, right? 30%. Yeah. Okay, they stay in. That's a good play. I wanna keep the... I wanna keep the homie. Dude, this guy's playing so aggressively with this low kicks, and it's working so well for them. Please stop. <laughs> Please get out of my head. Okay, good. Volt Switch can that. I was gonna be really worried if it didn't. Um... I believe the Dogie is entering the fray now. The Dogie is in, the Dogie is now. And I'm Scarf Dogie too. I do have a Spike, so if this is Sash, it doesn't live. They go Palmot. I'm just going to hope I'm faster. They could be Scarf. They are not. Is Raps. I think. I think it's Raps. Um, it may not be. <laughs> it may not be. It's Raps! Let's go! <laughs> good win, good win, good win. Grin did not even come out onto the field. <laughs> Yo, that 40, that big 40 put in some mad work. I've been, see, I've been seeing, man. There's some UU players out here, and they're trying to disrespect 
my homie. Trying to say fortress isn't vile. Just trying to say Tinkaton isn't good. And you know what? I refuse. I will not allow this propaganda. Now this guy's just rolling up with the hyper offense. Y'all remember last time? <laughs> Y'all remember last time we faced this man? <laughs> oh, wait, no, no, no. I'm gonna lead fortress. Ah, nice fortress. I can just spike up turn one. That's cool. Ow. Jesus Christ. Get this man out of here. I'm a Volt Switch now. Stop cudgeling me into the Shadow Realm, man. <laughs> Technically, I can Ice Beam this, but I'm... You know, I, I just have a feeling Ice Beam will not be doing the damage I'm looking for. Um, Dogi can CC. They got plenty of Switch-ins, but I got... I mean, Dogi's... Here's the thing, though. They may not like the Dogi coming out, because... Okay, it could have Zen Headbutt or something, right? As my opponent disconnects, I saw Okie Doki come out and they're like, ah, oh, shit, not this dumbass. I'm gonna just CC, though. It, like, if they think I'm bulk up on this team, which is fair, I've got, uh, Gren, Torn, Shocks, I don't have to be Scarf Okie Doki. They may stay in, and they may try to Zen Headbutt me. Yep, alright. So, I think that's what happened. They didn't think I would be Scarf. So, we get rid of him. Mew comes out, it's just gonna set a hazard. I'm gonna take this as a turn to get my grin in. As I set up rocks, and this is just now a very, very free Dark Pulse. Ooh, unfortunately does not get the KO though. That's very unfortunate for me. We did take that down with the Shadow Ball. Ah, oh, man. This comes out. Now, obviously I have Heat Proof. Hmm. I think we. I think I just sacked Fortress here, so I get a free switch. Cause I don't. I don't really see a Monum spinning on too safely. Brother, what is this? Howl? Not him. Not him. Also, this thing spikes. Was I? Oh right, it's because it's Life Orb. Duh. I was trying to um rationalize something else in my head there. Um, Shuriken? Is that DT Water Shuriken? I need a reminder. Oh, it's only one prior. Oh god, I might lose to this. Dogi might live one, just because I'm Scarf. Or not Scarf, just because I'm a Dogi. I, I think I have to go into this. Okay, well they e-speed, so that's good. This comes out, he's um Shurikening me. We'll go Grin. Not Grin. Weird looking Grin. <laughs> go Torn, thank you. And I'm just gonna I don't like you turning here but I kind of have to they go enamorous this could be healing wish so I do want to be a little careful they haven't Terra as well but god Terra what e-speed would have done 72 to my mans <laughs> oh my lord I don't like my switches here um, because if this Terra Steel- Now, I could go Dogi and try to, um, CC on a Terra Steel. I just don't think that's the right play. Um, I could go Sinistra, but if they have Mystical Fire, then it's just kind of bad. I think I have to go Sandy Shocks. And I think we actually Stealth Rock here and try and wait a turn. Okay, so my opponent just Moon Blasts. Does a million. I'm gonna Volt Switch here. Rocks are good to have just to get more chip on Gren. I think it might be specs because we didn't see orb chip. Volt there. Bring you out. I'm a bleak wind. They are cussed up. Okay, Gren comes out. I could tear a water here. I may have to even. I think I have to. Actually, oh, but this is not great for me if I do that, because, um... How much does Dark Pulse do? This is an annoying turn. They may be going for, um... I think they're specs, just given the, um... Stuff at hand. Tornado Therian. Pivot. Terra Water. I think they might Ice Beam. Dark Pulse doesn't kill usually. I'm gonna go for Terra Water. They Terra Water as well. They Surf, okay. So we're kind of chill now. Um, I actually have a bit more bulk than a normal one because I'm not as fast. 249. 
Brynn Terra watered surfed. That didn't do nearly enough to be um specs. Maybe he's Mystic Water. Um. Oh, this makes this really annoying. This makes this really annoying, actually. I have to just try and win a speed... Well, I guess it's not really try to win a speed tie. Uh, this is just gonna come down to the very end. It's gonna be a matter of does Scizor just bullet punch me into the Shadow Realm? Alright. We do end up tanking the move there. I do get now Water Shurik in this. Boosted Shuriken. Oh, I only got two hits. Friend, please? Yay, there we go. There we go. The Greninja did it at the end, baby. Let's go. Awesome, awesome. All right. So we do end up surviving versus this. I should have um, predicted Custap on that too. I've literally used Custap Berry and Amorous T before. But they also didn't really get to make any use of their healing wish. I think they... um trolled that they had a very safe win i believe if they went for moonblast but by going for the healing wish instead and then going grin um it didn't really do anything moonblast would have killed torn i would have lost <laughs> so i mean I'll, I'll take it i'll definitely take it not the cleanest win there but grin got to showcase Versus the Scizor at the end, at least. It's potential. I don't know if Scizor would have been able to beat me down, necessarily. I think no matter what, we had a pretty decent chance. Because Scizor, by boosting, is kind of um, trolling it. Only in the sense of Life Orb is probably their item. I guess they're not Life Orb, it's scary. But by letting me get the hits off on it, that's obviously pretty bad. And as you can see, they... They have, I guess, okay, they didn't really have a good outlook regardless. Maybe if they weren't Life Orb, they had a chance. If they were, like, they weren't left over, so let's pretend they were. Shocks was still in KO range from that type of move. So, even if they weren't Life Orb and they were, like, Metal Coat, they could have killed Shocks with Bullet Punch. And I think that would have been good enough to beat me. So, all that to say. It would have been, like, a very specific set with me only getting two shuriken hits on each time. I, I think we had pretty good odds once they, you know, healing wished instead of moon blasting. So this guy actually has a spinner, which I find very disrespectful. I do have a spin blocker. Unfortunately, it could be poisoned by a toxic, which is not what I like. My grin looks quite strong here. I just need chip on tentacruel. Um, I actually like Shocks is Elite a lot. There's not a lot that contests it. Hey guys, it's one of the mons that contests it. Y'all think he'll let me Terra Ice Bolt Switch on him? <laughs> do I throw do I throw the entire game away right here? Is there anything else I need Terra on? Let's think this through before I do this. <laughs> you know what? I don't think there is. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Let's go! We did it! We sacked an entire mod for no damn reason. Or sacked our Terra for no reason, I mean. Kind of disgusting, by the way. That Greninja Surf was doing, like, nothing. He was at the Fort, not Fort, just Tentacruel. I'm guessing he's knocking, so I'm just gonna Volt Switch. I don't know if 11 means anything, necessarily. I'm gonna just go back into Sandy Shocks now. No item makes me think he's probably... Boots? I guess he could be Assault Vest, if... I, I, it's Fortress, man. The mod has, like, three special attack. I'm Impish. <laughs> that move's never doing damage anyway. And if anyone's wondering why it's Impish instead of Bold, um, it doesn't really matter. That's an insane play, because if I Earth-powered, I could have gone for Terra Blast the next turn? <laughs> That's insane. What the hell? I think what they're basically betting on is even if I do um Earth-power there... I mean, one, they're definitely just predicting that I want Earth Power, but two, even if I do, they always have the option to tear Steel. I'm gonna knock just in case it specs. It's Assault Vest. Um, similarly, not a threat. I'm a Bleak Wind here because there's nothing that resists this move. Yeah. 
And a lot of people like to do this, where they stay in. So I'm gonna knock. Actually, given the kill there is pretty interesting. But they don't have a switch, so I get it. Just not, like, what are they switching into there, right? <laughs> Kabalion comes out. You're not Scarf Kabalion. There's just no world. Thank you. <laughs> I was gonna say, there's just no world where this is... Not the Slammer. Yo, chill. Chill, brother. Chill, brother. I'm gonna need- I'm gonna need you to chill out. I did 16. Owie! Unfortunately, I have a Sinistra. My- Unfortunately, my Sinistra will now be checking you forever. This is Liquid Ooze, but I actually still did pretty decent chip. And I am gonna scout for Toxic. Okay, they knock. I wanted to scout the Toxic, just in case. As he doesn't even spin there, so now I'm wondering if he's an even rapid spin, or maybe everything on his team is Boots. If this is on Boots Petron, we have confirmation that this isn't Boots. It might be AV. That would explain, though. Okay. Um, Gren still doesn't have the damage I need on Koba to win, so I'm gonna go with Sinistra. And I'm just gonna... I'm gonna call Mind. Because this going for knock makes me wonder if it can even touch me. As they go for a Terra Dark there. Alright, buddy. <laughs> Alright, buddy. I get it. Oh, he's very AV, by the way. He's very AV. <laughs> this man is a salt vest as hell. Okay. Petrarot now comes out. Um, I'm gonna go Greninja. Because I don't want to risk my um other dude on the switch. Unfortunately, no flinch there. But I do plenty of chip now. I'm going to my Sandy Shocks. I'm actually going to Terra Blast Ice here. Just in case they uh read the Latio switch in there. Now I just Earth Power here. If I was faster, then obviously I would have been chill. Now the one thing I'm scared of is, does this Kabalion with Heavy Slam kill my Sinistra? Heavy Slam. God, how do I... I'm just trying, I was going to say, how do I spell Heavy? Sinistra. Um, you, you, calm mind. Uh, I don't think I die because I don't think this is max attack. So I'm gonna strength up. Yeah, alright, cool. Gonna throw off a matcha. This... What? What was this? My opponent does not seem to understand the ramifications of their actions. We get torn in now. It's gonna knock. Just, yeah, I was gonna say, just in case this has um a scary item or something. You turn on out. Sack Dogi. I guess I could have um preserved Dogi, but it, it it just genuinely does not matter at all. Sinistra will always wall the Kabalion at the end if I really need it to, and that's a wrap. It's a wrap that's perished backwards. Another W. Another W for the young Yu Yu God. This team is very fun. This is a very fun team. It is playing pretty well. I don't know about the Gren set. I think I think the Battle Bond Gren is not really worth it here. But, I mean, I think it's been fun. Oh, now I'm facing the entire state of Texas. And unfortunately they have a Kelvio. <laughs> yeah, I'm really getting uh really getting trolled here by some of these guys. But if I get hazards, maybe it's doable. I have Sinistra to spin block. That's pretty good. Um, I like Shocks as a lead here. I also like Earth powering this. Like, you can switch out here, man. That's fine. If you stay in, I want to get my chip. DD Titar. Wow, we. Yo, that did so much. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> well, we get another Titar. So I'm pretty happy with that. Obviously, this was a check to um Hoopa and Excadrill. But I'm very, very happy to get rid of that. I'm actually going to stay in a body press, by the way. There's just no reason to switch out there. Because I can go Sinistra now. And I can Macha Gacha. Because I got I got them with the Machum. And now they no longer have um Drill to do anything. I'm also going to go Sandy Shocks on this. I'm going to get my rocks set up. I just go Sinistra on you. Uh, if this is Iron... Oh, God. This is a little bit annoying. 
They go Zapdos and Macha. They're gonna Heat Wave here, but I still have to go Shocks. I'm just gonna Terra Blast. Nice. That crit probably mattered, but whatever. I got rid of him. Honestly, I don't even know what the crit mattered. I'm a Sandy Shocks. I'm curious, did that matter at all? Um, Terra Ice, Zap Dose, Defensive. Seven, oh, no, that mattered a ton. Wow. <laughs> okay, my bad. Uh, Sinistra I could go to. Torn I could go to. I'm gonna go Sinistra. Because they do 5 million to me there. Macha gotcha here. I'm gonna sap here. I said I'm gonna sap here. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna just Macha again. Because Macha gotcha has a huge threat versus all of these remaining dudes if I um, burn. Okay. Yeah, let me just do that to you as well. And then this is an annoying turn. Ah, do I just. I'm going Greninja, man. As I actually do predict them right, unfortunately, they get a crit. So they're dark pulsing. I can go uh, Dogi on this, I guess. NCC. Tinkaton takes 500,000 from that. Wow. <laughs> Yo, that did so much. So I do predict right there that he is special Hoopa. That's good to see. That's very good to see. The state of Texas has nothing on a Floridian. I'm sorry to tell you. <laughs> we are built different down here in these swamps. Uh, they go Hoopa. I mean, if it's Scarf, it could be a speed tie here. Part of me, was, I'm going to keep the grin around, if only because I am a little concerned about what this could do. So I'm going to sack you, go Torn. I could actually knock here. And if they are, um, stay in, then I just win with CC spam, I think, from Okie Dogie. But I also like knocking here, because, yeah, if they go drill, then I knock the balloon. And I heat wave the next turn, as he, of, of course, lived. Now I have to go Sinistra here, Macha Gacha. Um, this should still be okay, though. They go Hoopa, I get a crit. Do I even need this at this point? I kind of do. I'm gonna go Torn, I guess. Oh, please live. Bro, what's that roll, man? What's that roll? Get rid of you. Keldeo comes in. How much do I do to Keldeo? I think it's Specs. That roll is unfortunate. CC doesn't kill either, so I'm gonna... Hmm. Well, CC does 72 minimum. And then if I go to Greninja... I go to my Battle Bond, man. Water Shuriken. Probably doesn't do nearly enough. I mean, it's a pretty decent chance. If I get, like, a mid-roll, 72 to 86. If I did, um... Like, 78. I just feel like that's not a good path. Grin's also faster, though, isn't it? I mean, I could just always go Sinistra here. Cool, oh, the air slashed. Maybe I should have stayed in CC'd? I mean, if this is double Scarf, then I guess it doesn't matter, right? Um, I think that has to be Specs. Let me check. Air Slash. Yes, yeah, Specs. I mean, no matter what, I could force it to be a end game situation here. Or I get my Dark Pulse chip. And if they go into Hoopa here, then they just lose. Because I have too many turns. Like, it'll literally just come down to, are they Jolly, or not Jolly, Timid Hoopa. 
or hate whatever nature. Maybe they're scared of me extra sensorying here. Maybe they're scared of extra sensory here. <laughs> yeah, we dark pulse, put them in range of Dogi CC, and then we just um try. So we try to um maybe they go hard hoopa and throw the game away. Cause this is we saw it's in KO range. They've still not Terra'd though. Wait, what? What's that? What? Huh? Wait, is it adamant in the calc? Of course it is. It's adamant in the calc, and I got a, like a minimum roll. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> uh, it's not a minimum roll, but it was on the lower end. That's so sad, dude. So I guess the right play was just to stay in and CC, but I don't really feel like that's too good for me either. I guess it would have been stay in CC. If I I should have checked to make sure it was um jolly, not Adam. That's on me. But the better play would have been then stay in CC. Go, you know, I could get toxic chain. If I get toxic chain, then I can go grin and protect. And they have to deal with that as a wrench in their plan because if I protect properly on Keldeo, then they just lose because I'm gonna nim kill them the next turn with my battle bond. I'm gonna get battle bond the next turn and I'll outspeed Hoopa. That's a very funny game though. This guy's got double weather. Venusaur is a little scary. I'm gonna have to be careful around that mon. Um, I just again, Sandy shocks. Just smokes whatever in the lead. Um, ignore that they led with Latios. That's not relevant to what I was saying. <laughs> I'm gonna go torn. They're probably gonna flip turn here, which is annoying, but it's whatever. It's whatever, man. I really want to stay in. But this is like Specs Latios. I'm pretty sure I just die. I don't think I live a hit from Specs Latios. Right? Oh god. No no. No hit no hits will be being lived today. No hits will be being eaten up. What in the world? <laughs> that damage is vile. I mean most aren't specs, they aren't like soul do. Because you just I don't know. With Luster Purge dropping special defense, you don't really have a need to tap into the power of specs. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, I was right. They flip turned. I'm just better. Whatever. <laughs> They're gonna go T-Tar. They're gonna get rocks. Yeah, yeah. We, we know how it goes. I have no clue why there's a T-Tar on this team, by the way. Not really sure why he's here. I honestly expected that to be Unnerve that activated. I was gonna be really upset if it was, but I definitely expected Unnerve. Um, I could go Dogi. I just don't really like Okie Dogi once it's in. So I'm gonna go Fori. They Thunder Wave me. That's kind of annoying, but okay. I'm gonna spike up. God, why do you have to be T Wave T Tar? God damn it. Get a little spiky spike there. I'll spin here. I, I, my bad, guys. I thought I was gonna spin there. I was wrong. I, I, I made a severe lapse in my judgment. Guy, once again, guys. I mean, I'm just so sorry. I thought I could spin twice in a row and yeah neither time did that work i'm spinning again yeah that's what i thought so stupid <laughs> i should have gotten my spin and in my vault man come on uh torque i'm faster than right let's um let's find out how fast is a uh, torkel wait it has a speed boost i i was right though i would be faster normally uh i mean i guess i could go torn on this I think it's really funny that I was right. I mean, technically, yes, I should have been faster. <laughs> oh, well. We go toward here. Oh, crit burn. Okay. I I'm starting to understand where this game is going. Dude, why does this have stealth rock? Hello? What is this? Why are you double rocks? It makes no sense. <laughs> All right. And now I'm really starting to get where this game is going. <laughs> I see why this guy has almost 1,500 points. There's, um... An aspect of the of play that you wouldn't understand unless you had reached the pinnacle of gameplay. And this guy has certainly reached the pinnacle of gameplay. I feel like I could just stay in and throw off a heat wave here. Yeah, no, don't don't run double stealth rock like that. Alright. This game is uh treating me really well, as you can see. Uh being faster there is unfortunate. So is he sp no, he could just 
God, what am I getting hit with here? I'm going... Grin. Okay, flip. I don't understand the flip. Um... I could protect once. Stall out a turn. The Giga Drain. Alright, let me go for it here. Before... Oh God. I tried to cancel it, but no. Of course not. Can't let me cancel my moves when I press the button. As I wanted to go Torn instead, I just wasn't sure on Sludge Bomb versus Weather Ball. Um, Ice Beam just did that much. 45, this is 120. Yeah, Dark Pulse should kill. If it doesn't kill, man, then, I mean, whatever. <laughs> this battle's already shown, um, a few issues for me anyway. Um, stay in with Torkoal. You rat. You despicable rat. You disgust me. I got a growth here. I think I lose. Um, I definitely die to this, but I have to just stay in. I mean, I could try terraing, but if they, they're gonna, if they sludge bomb, it doesn't matter, right? So I think it's better not to terra. Oh, I lived. Good, and I hit heat wave too. Let's go. So big threat gone. This, I just think Latios beats me now. We know um, Grin's faster at least. Which also means Dogie's faster. And CC spam is getting to be a potential option. Oh, I'm really sad by those earlier turns. Got a special attack boost here, which is just meaning I'm getting a big earth power off. I could try to set rocks. I just... I want chip on this. Oh my god, okay. All of the talk that I had earlier about getting unlucky, now gone. Gone. That is a very lucky turn. Os comes out. Um, if Latios is Soul Dew instead, what's the calc look like? Unfavorable. Um, if they stay in and Draco, do I go Sinistra? I just feel like Titar is still too big of an issue, you know? But also, if I stay in and this dies, I don't really like my next play because it's like going Grin? And Grin lets in Titar too easily. I'd have to, like, double immediately. They still can Terra. Yeah, they still have Terra. I don't like this turn for me. He could be Specs as well. Like, that's the reality of it. Hmm. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I think I just lose at this point. I don't have a defensive Terra that I really can make use of on this team. I don't know what he is, because the thing is, yeah, like, so this is the set for Specs. Soul Dew can still run Flip Turn. You can do, um, Drake, Luster Purge, Flip Turn, Recover. So we don't really have insight into their set. And the fact that Luster Purge, if he Specs, could still kill me is a problem. I think he's Draking no matter what here. I just don't really know what to throw out versus that. If I sack Sinistra, do I just come back out to shocks? Do I go Dogie and try to knock? Like, there's a world where Sinistra could win if I get enough Calm Mind boosts. I feel like I stay in and just try to rock. They crit me anyway. I mean, come on. I don't know. I think I, I, think I literally just have to go off of the... um long shot chance that Sinistra can somehow pull it off. I just don't think it really works out. This should die to Shadow Ball. I am a Sinistra. My opponent has absolutely no clue what they're doing. Okay. They went Torkoal and they're like, wait a minute. No, no, no. I want to go back. I want to go back. Maybe they have every clue they know what they're doing. Um, I mean... Knock probably kills me. If I don't... I'm gonna matcha. Okay, we do get a burn. Which is good. I'm just like, I don't know what move I can even sweep with. CC isn't gonna do it if Latios is at 82, right? Like, okie dokie. This is my damage. Let me actually change it to Jolly as well. 38 to 45. Like, if I get um, a CC poison on the switch, then it's doable. I have to sap here. 
Like, that would be doable. CC as this comes in and get a poison? Alright. Thank you. Thank you, Sinistra. Okay. It's still doable. I think it is actually doable now. If they go Latios, I think I just have to stay in and try to Shadow Ball. I think I call mind on this. Alright. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh my god. If I got a call mind there, it was so good because Latios and then it can't really do anything. I, I just have to stay in and hope that I can um KO. That Drake doesn't do enough and that I um Shadow Ball will KO. But it's a matter of um living. Okay, hey, Terra, that's good, but this is a problem that I am still dealing with. I think we sat Grinning and go Dogie. Because we actually- wait, we see C win now, I think. I, I, I think. I, I mean, that chip is good. Maybe we win? Yeah, okay, never mind. We're fine. Our opponent terroring this means we win the game, because we know this is not Scarf. Alright, good! We came through. Our opponent got a lot of, um, a lot of really annoying turns, but Dogie comes in the clutch at the end. Nice. And Gr I mean, Grand Chip probably was necessary. I don't know for sure if it was, but if we base it on them being, like, max attack... CC was killing it anyway. Interesting. <laughs> okay, maybe Grand Chip wasn't even that needed at the end. It felt needed, because it's a Kabalion, dude. Like, those mons are really bulky. Like, once you see Iron Head... It's pretty safe to assume they're going to be not a, a pretty defensive set. Because normally, Kabalion runs like Stealth Rock, Body Press, Volt Switch, and then like Taunt or Flash Cannon. Or even Iron Defense is probably okay. If you're going to run a set with Bulk Invest. Otherwise, they just go Max Attack and run like Rocks 3 Attacks. So I don't know if this was triple Stealth Rock or what, but thank goodness the... Um, the full para did not end up mattering, and they felt so pressured to um, not lose to Sinistra that day on um, Terra Steeled. When it looks like... I mean, I don't know. It's odd, because if we go back to that turn... Let me get over to it in the battle, because it is quite far. Um, Right here, they Terra Steel, and as you see, they do two-shot me. The problem is, is if they don't Terra Steel... And I Shadow Ball, they die, right? And then you've got Kabalion, yes, at full, but Kabalion and then Titar. And I think probably from... Unless this Mon had, like, Trailblaze, I don't think there was a path to victory once this Terrid. I believe what my opponent had to do was just hope for the full para. Because as you see, if they didn't Terra, they two shot me, and then I'm paralyzed. There's nothing I can do. So, I actually think... Their Terra is the only reason we won. We would have lost otherwise, so I think that's pretty funny. But I hope y'all enjoyed. Gren didn't get- I didn't really get to show off the Protect, um, tech. To, um, of course block low kicks, first impression. But, I think the team played really well. There were a couple things that felt kind of awkward. And I think that's partly due to Fortress as a Steel type being a little cringe. Though, it felt okay enough, so I can't really complain. And thanks y'all for watching. Um, it's our, like... How, how are we looking on here? I'm, I typed slash rank, didn't I? Um, Pokemon? Hello? Oh, there we go. It's because I <laughs> apparently have to do that. Okay. So uh, apparently we're 30 and 9. Okay, our GXE is horrible. But 30 and 9, I mean, eh, seven, over 75% win rate. Not too bad. <laughs> Thanks all for watching. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.